Hello everyone and welcome to the last part of the Road to Smash 4 Arms. We're looking at the final character who I think has a decent chance of getting in being Dr. Coil. Now what I did want to check out is, if I recall, under the help section, um, there is something that talks about here. If I go to... Dr. Coil. Okay, so here we go. The doc can activate one of her extra built-in arms during a fully charged punch. Okay. Whenever she holds a guard, she goes into stealth mode. Watch out for the conveyor belts on her state. So she gets an extra arm. Interesting. Um, okay, these are just talking about other stuff. Okay, okay. Um, let's give it a try, and we are gonna have to try to make Dr. Coil fight herself. I did learn how to actually use it. I think you hold a direction with the stick when you select them. I'm pretty sure. Let me try in a sec. But first off, what arms does she have? Lockjaw is a, uh, breathes fire. We'll give that one a try. The Parabola, it's wind-based... And the burr chuck. Use a jumping attacks. Um, sure, we'll stick with them for now. Those are her go-tos. Okay, let's try here. I'm gonna try doing a direction. <laughs> that didn't work. Might. Nope. <laughs> nope. Meet your there we go. Okay, so we got red. My turn. Oh, that's good. <laughs> we got that one. Okay, and up is the regular. Let's go with the red. Uh, red? Kind of like the red. Wait, can she not fight herself? Oh. She can't fight herself. Huh. Well, shoot. There goes that idea. Um. Okay. Well. Huh. In that case, um, I guess we'll try out Misango. Whoops. I thought she, she could fight herself, but I guess not. Or no, let's go with Max Brass. Can Max Brass fight her? Yes, he can. All right, let's go with... Ah, uh, I like that silver one. This is nice and all together. Level six. Uh, as for his arms, you know what? I'm actually going to switch out. Does he have many? He doesn't have too many. Okay, let's get him some more arms. I am very sorry. I lied at the beginning then. Well, in that case, um, let's get him some new arms. And uh, from that, hopefully we will uh, get some good stuff and give it a go with him. It'll be a bit of revenge for him. I wonder who he fights otherwise in this mo in, in, in his mode. Does he fight himself? He must. I feel like he has to. There we go, got that one. And... There we go. Nice. Is that... Whose logo is that one? That is his, okay. You gotta get the ones that look like two little... Little arms. Okay, there we go. Got that one. Okay. Nice. Oh, too far. And uh, now one more. I find it funny that this is pretty much just like um, some of the gotcha machines in Japan, like the crane games. They have similar ones here where the gimmick is you gotta try and punch him, you know, or push him to the back. Those ones are actually a little difficult. Okay. Come on. There you go. Got that one. Oop, there we go. Okay. Not too bad. Actually, we're doing pretty good so far. 
There's like no items dropping though. Where's where's more? Okay. 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 One more. All right. That's enough for now. Okay. But well, we got a couple more. We got the Chilla, the Biffler. He's got the Cracker. He's got the Toaster. A lot of the more basic ones. Got the Retorture. Okay, where's the ones for Max Brass? Okay, so he's got now the Tri Blast. That's not bad. I like that. Thunderbird, I like. Might add the Thunderbird to him. Okay, so in that case, uh, let's take Max Brax on to the end. I really did want to play as Dr. Coil, but alas, she can't fight herself. It's weird because I saw an achievement which was make uh, beat Dr. Coil with Dr. Coil. I thought that one was for uh, the story mode, but I guess it's not. I'm going to switch out the roaster to um, the Tri-Blast and switch out this one to the Electro Bird because I do like my Thunderbird. It's really good. If I can go Thunderbird into a Nade, that'd be really powerful, I bet. Okay, well, if all mine are like red, yeah. let's go red then. Let's, let's get color matching. Okay. Tell me about this guy. Sarms Grand Prix is going to be different, folks, because this time we're broadcasting live from a reigning champs regional tour. Oh. But don't worry, your pal Biff is still here to provide the scintillating commentary you know and love. 52. Wow. As you sure know by now, the reigning champ is also our arms league commissioner, Max Brass. He's 52. Ever since he ascended to the top spot, he's been waiting for a challenger who could take his place. But his impatience got the best of him, and he's taking matters into his own hands. What a go-getter. Will anyone out there be able to oust the champion? Let's find out. Their arms Grand Prix is about to start. Let's go. We got... Ooh, we're starting We're starting with the one who gives me trouble first, huh? Bob and Weave. It's Max Brass versus the Bouncer Springman. If you think he looks hot, just wait until you get his, his toasters. Powerful punch. All right. Let's do like this. Alright. Alright, gotta get back into the game. I say as I am not doing that. Okay. I wish it disabled both of his punches, but... Okay. That sucked a bit. Oh, that sucked a lot. Of course, when you play as the boss character, you are never as good as the actual sort of character was. I was hoping that would work. Well, at least I got the last hit. Okay, so when he gets big, he definitely becomes a bigger target. His arms become more powered up, but he is bigger, which is a bit more difficult. Let's try this again. Okay, that one came up quicker than I expected. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Ah! Oh, come on! I grabbed ya! Come on! No! Wow, I need to be jumping more. That should have been a free grab. No, we've already lost. What? How come Springman is always the toughest? Like, he's legit always the toughest that I have to fight. Probably because he's the most, like, legit character, honestly. He has very little, like, degeneracy. Okay, gotta, gotta wait for him to try and hit me and use that to my advantage. I say as I don't really. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Ah! No! Tried to guard! Cool! Oh! Yeah, that would hurt! I didn't think the explosion radius would be that big. Yeah, getting big is not amazing with him, huh? Oh, he knew what he was doing. Okay. Come on. Okay. Charge up. I was hoping that would work, and it did. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, stop that. Okay, that's good. Hit him. That worked. Okay. Hey, playing with items, that's a Smash Bros. style. All right, all right. It's a good combo. Oh. It's tough to just... Okay, is this heavier than his? I think it is. So I think this one is a light one. So I think mine should go through his. I say as it doesn't. Come on. Okay. Let's get him out of there. Come on, I'm trying to counter him. Oh my god, that worked! Well, that didn't work. Alright, let me let me go till I beat this. I take it back. I hate Max Brass. His arms are so wide, everything is hard to hit. I am not a fan at all. So instead, it's clown time. I don't like that color. Nah. Let's go. What's what's... Wait. Wait. Oh, they're all, oh, they're all the same. <laughs> Alright, what do you have? Um... The stamper, I don't like... Actually, the clapback was really good. Yeah, you know what? Let's just give you this. Let's go. It's hot clown time. Yeah, uh, Max Brass's arms are so wide, it's really hard to hit stuff. So we're not going to play as him. Will Lola Pop be in Smash? Absolutely not. But I don't care. Why is she so thick? All right. 23, she likes seeking applause, eating candy, she likes to bust guts, okay, mm tricks up her sleeve, that be enough to win the dose, she needs to start a circus of her own, alright, let's try this, let's see if this goes a bit better, yeah, it's just, uh, Max Brass's arms being so far apart means it's so tough to actually aim for the person you're going for, you know, so I'm, I'll happily switch up, alright, Versus the Queen of the Silver Screen, Twintel, her dazzling aura. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Um, the clapback is really good. I'm gonna go clapback and Biffler. Let's try this. Reminder, she inflates. So, if I'm correct, I can use this to literally send back her arms. So this one goes kind of vertically instead of horizontally. Okay. Really bad one uh, with the birds there.
That still hit. Oop, couldn't guard that, but I was in good range. Oh, come on. That should have hit. Yeah, this shield is kind of wild. Well, that didn't guard that too well, but we're not dead yet. Alright. Don't get hit. I say as I get hit. Okay. Okay, clapback ain't doing too much for me. Gonna be real. Not loving it. Let's try switching to the fun chuck. Okay. Well, that blinds sir. Wow. Does that actually work on the opponent? No way. Really? It works on the computer? Wow. Who would have thought? Well. Well, well, well. Perfect, huh? That's a first. This is a good combo, I guess. At least for her. She hates it. Okay, do I actually like Lollipop's play style? Oh no! I have a clown thing! Oh, we got hit there. That's better than we were doing with Max Brass. Can't believe that worked. Can't believe that worked! What's the range on this? It seems quite far. The range on this is incredible! Oh no, have I become a Lollipop main? The internet will never hear the end of this! Damn thick clown! Look at that butt, it's so huge! Those thighs! Redonkulous! Anyways, I guess I'm playing as her now, huh? Okay! Alright, versus Ribbon Girl. Warming up the crowd. Low pop versus the Aeris Ribbon Girl. Wow, the stage positive gleaming on those big bright lights. You just have all the eyes on her, but something, something, I, it goes too fast. Either way, it's gonna be a show. I'm sticking with these. Alright. Large fan of the fun chuck, too. It just feels good to kind of whip it forward, you know? Okay. I wish that hit on the ground. Alright. The fact you can move while guarding with her is quite nice, too. Oh, I was gonna try and use use mine against her there, but I, I didn't didn't capitalize on it. But this I can, kind of, not really actually. That was lucky. Ah no! Okay, <gasps> that's it. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Keep it up. I like this combo. That was mutual hitting there. Did she just go honk honk? Lucky us. Let's 
Let's see if we can head over there. I want to do a close range grab, but she had the same idea. Yes! Get that counter hit. Yo, yo, Lola Pop is way better than she deserves to be. There's something about her movement that feels so perfect. Okay, well, here we are. Rocking it as Lola Pop, I guess. We got some hoops! Hoops haagen -Dazs. Yo, we haven't really ran into Misango. He was another DLC fighter, but or update fighter, but I don't I don't know too much about him other than he has like a spirit with him that I think appears when he charges up. Or no, it's right there. Oh, it, it goes on him like a mask? Interesting. Wonder if this one will actually be hard. It seems like it might be. Okay. Come on. Oh, he can do it at an angle. Okay. He can, like, grab it at an, an angle upwards. Make a tree? What a weird move set. Okay. Not good. Am I going to be rimmed? Nope. Oh, Jesus isn't good. I think he might get me in. No! Dang it. Well, we gotta do that one again. Yeah, what a strange moveset. I... If he gets in, I guess people will get their Crash Bandicoot. You know? <laughs> a little bit. There we go. Get him while he's changing. That counted. Oh, oh. Slam a jamma. Ho ho! Two can play that game. Nice. And you're done. Yeah! Very nice. Alright. I'm kind of taking it back. Can we get... Can we get Lola Pop in Smash? Can we, please? <laughs> she's winning me over. I hate how much she's winning me over. She's really fun to play as. I guess I should have read that, but oh well. Let's do this. Okay. Alright. I do like this theme that plays here. It's very good. I am looking forward to whatever arm stage is going to be. As long as it's not another boxing ring, I think there's a lot of good choices. It's just don't don't just do the boxing ring again, you know? We've already got the boxing ring. Why make another? Oh, jeez. Not... He's, he's another one of the ones that are always quite difficult for me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The key is to try and biffle him. Do a charged biffler to make them into the stamps, and then from the stamps, you uh you hit him with the super. Oh, I tried to dodge them all. Come on. Ah We played we played the footsies. Come on! Wasn't Ninjara the one that people played, like, in the beta, and that made everyone mad? God, that was a long time ago, huh? Ah! No! Hey, come on! That was so near instant, how did you know? I 
guess that's the only problem with with this move set is it does these are both kind of weaker arms and they don't go out immediately so you do have to contend with that fact ah close that at least we we're cl well no we we didn't get him to even 75 percent all right let's try that again you know maybe we'll try the um we'll try the clap back with him this time then we'll go Biffler clap back. We'll give that a shot. Because that might work for sending his stuff back to him. Let's see. Okay, so my stuff can't really go through it. Got it. Oh, this sucks. I thought the clapback will automatically, like, launch him backwards. It, 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 clapback does not work when it is... Any of the shield ones don't work when they got one of those rotatey ones. Yeah, no, that is... That was a bad idea. Because it just does not want to go with, with that. Okay, let's see here. So he's got... Spinner... You know, let's go double Biffler. Let's give it a shot. Just follow this dude. Don't let him approach. Oh, well. I guess he doesn't need to when he does that. Come on. It should be over when I have the high ground. Ooh, that is not fair. Come on. Those instant grabs are so instant. Nope. Nope, no, no, that's not going to work. Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to switch back to the regular double punch. All right. There we go. Oh my god, that took forever. Oh boy. 
That was really difficult. In the end, I had to pretty much just keep him away. Don't get close at all and just keep double fun chucking him. That was really tough. Please take it easy on me, Master Mummy. I think the toughest part is just dealing with his instant evasion. It's just really difficult. We can balloon up to his size. Let's do that. So let's go back to Biffler and Funchuck. That's my combo. Also, I can do this. Okay, well that won't help there. Okay, so evasion is my go-to thing. Like this. Uh-oh, well, except when he does that. Okay. Okay, gotta just avoid that one. Okay. Keep him away. Okay. Oh, that was really lucky. That's what I wanted. Dodge into it. Hey, don't come near me, please. This also charges up my stuff and is a guard, so it's 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 a really good sort of aerial guard movement technique. Oh, come on, that was so close. Come on, oh, right in the face. Never mind. Okay, we came close that time. We came real close. We nearly came up from behind. Okay, double bird. You still don't have to worry about being uh, hit out with its strength then. Okay. Uh oh. Ow! I thought that'd be... Had a good amount of time, but it really wasn't. Okay, at least we hit him. If you use the fun chuck in the air, it kind of goes in a different pattern, which I really like. Oh, that's not good. We got bird comboed. Okay. There we go. Very nice. Okay, he still hit us. Oh, that was right up there at the end. Okay, I feel this is way... Like, I feel like he'll be easier than Ninjara just because of the fact that he doesn't have the evasion. But having the most health definitely won't make it easy for us. Okay. We just got to keep, keep on our feet. If I can get him while that one's coming in and grab him, that'd be good. But it's tough to, you know, aim it, it seems. Well, except when you do that. Nice. Well, that didn't stop his other arms, though. Ow. Ah! <laughs> I'm weak. I wonder if that'll be a mechanic in Smash, the arm hurting. I feel like I feel like that'd be really interesting if like you attack the arm it can be disabled for a bit. I wonder. I do wonder. Okay, well I tried to dodge that and that didn't really work. Oh come on! Alright. There we go. Okay. We're doing not too bad. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. Should not have said that.
Definitely reached the point where you can't just freely throw them out. You gotta actually plan where they're gonna be with this difficulty level. Come on. Ah, that should have been in, in the time when it would have hit him. Well. Okay. Let's try this more. Oh, man. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no, he was actually tough, too. Um, did she just rib it? That's a strange noise. The big thing with the fun chucks is keeping them just far enough away. It's not just about necessarily um, making sure that they're, you know... Oh, boy. How am I going to do this with these guys? Oh, boy. Skill shot. This is gonna be... This ain't gonna be fun. Well, at least I know the strategy again of just aim for them. So, let's use the fun chucks because they aim pretty well. So, let's give this a go. So, okay, here's the party poppers. So, again, aim for them, incidentally hit the targets. And I get points for hitting his doggo too, huh? I do. Again, actually, it might actually be a bit better that I have, I'm fighting him, because then I can, again, hit his dog for extra points. I say he gets a hundred some. I don't know how this guy gets so many. Like, where does the hundred come from? Oh, well, there we go. I think I got 300 there. I mean, I did okay, but not as good as I should have. I think I think that the big spinning one, when you do the jumps, is the better way. So let me try that, because then you're, like, spinning them around, right? Okay. Get out of here, pig. Come on. All right. Why is it curling that way? I'm not trying to make it spin that way. Now, he is using both his hands. And how come it always hits on my side? I've never got it once. Come on. Actually, never mind. Him having his dog kind of sucks. That means he has another target he can sort of try and hide behind. Dang. No promises for how long this is going to take.
Okay, well that wasn't so bad actually. Again, focus on hitting the target and you'll do it. Okay. What do we got next? We're... I think half... We're almost there actually. We're at 7 of 10. So, well, 11 really. And we have my favorite stage. Let's do this. Okay, so the Speed Demon Kid Cobra, he's practiced his snakeboarding skills day in and day out here at the skate park. Meanwhile, lollipop has been traveling the world perfecting comedic craft. Lucky for her, snakeboarding and clowning are pretty much the same thing. Wait, that's not right. Oh boy. Um, let's do this. I love this stage, so let's go. Can I even... I can't, I can't inflate on here. I can't do an air inflate. Okay. You stole my board, dude. Okay. It's okay. Let's keep it going. Like this. Give him the circle strafe. Get that perfect distance. The one where he doesn't think he's in range, but I am. Haha! Nice, we can even charge him up. He hates it! Okay. Let's continue. Like double ice powers this time. Okay. Keep him away. That's what I wanted. Oh. That hurt a bit. Haha! -ha! Okay. See, I love this stage for the movement, but I this stage I remember when it was online, I would always win on it, and then uh, they banned it because we're like, oh yeah, I guess having a stage where it kind of is the different gameplay isn't super fair. So fine. Okay. Got his arm. Okay. It's all about them circles strafing. Uh oh, until he does that. I thought I nearly went on to another one. That's almost it. I'm going to win by timeout, though. Unless timeout wins don't exist in this. They do. Okay. Very nice. I'll take that. Alright, next up, we got... Uh, who's even left? Mechanica, Min Min... Helix. Okay. Deliver the punchline. First, the man of mystery Helix. Are we stretching and shrinking his fighting styles off pudding? Same as said about Lollipop's ability to self inflate and bounce around. Let's see how this wacky matchup shakes up. Exactly. Let's do this. All right. When he gets tall, it's an easy, easy hit. So there's like Helix clones everywhere, and that's a bit weird. I'm not a big fan of that. I'm not a big fan of this Goomin. Or his shield. Come on. Ah! A high level Helix is terrifying indeed. At least that shield arm leaves him way open.
Oh, come on. Come on. Okay. Again, keep the golden distance in check. Try to get around the, that shield. Okay, big hit. Ugh. Just slightly too far to range. I'm not going to time him out. Oh, I might. I will. Close. We did it. Okay. That's fair. All's fair in, in, in arms and war. I'm just, just out of range. The way the shield slowly pursues you is terrifying. Get over there. I'm... It didn't hit, but it hit him, so I'll take that. Throw out your shield, dude. Throw out your shield, I dare you. Or, have that happen. Well, that didn't really work for me. Ah! I've been good! Helix is so weird to fight. Like, he's just so weird. I fear if Helix gets in the Smash. There's just something about him rubs me very much the wrong way. There we go. That is a free super, because his arm is out and he can't block. That's it! Legit this time. It just, we're making all these weird noises, huh? All of us, together. Ribbit. She does ribbit. She does ribbit. It's confirmed, that is a ribbit. Semi-final is against who? Min Min. Alright. Match 9, bringing down the house. It's Lola Pop the ramen bomb versus the ramen bomber Min Min. Surrounded by restaurants and fierce, if not hungry, spectators. I think Lola Pop is going to feel right at home at the ramen bowl. Bon appetit, ladies. Is it because she inflates? Alright, let's go. I'd say Min Min... Is the, is, is the most well-designed of all of the base game characters. If only because her gimmick goes really far, whereas most of the early game characters' gimmicks don't really go super far, you know? Come on, do an attack on me. Like that. It's a good thing they can't hear me, huh? Okay, supercharge does not go through them. It's all about that distance. Don't get up close, it ain't worth it. Okay. Nope, nope. Just about the mistakes, you know? Capitalize on those mistakes. Like that. Like that. Like that. That's it. That's that's the plan. Also, uh, Lola, Lola Pop's members kind of look like Marks in the crowd from Kirby. I like that. Keep dragoning up. Yeah, ha ha. Okay. Okay. 
HP. I haven't lost any HP yet, so this doesn't matter a ton to me. Though that might change in a second. Like that. Owie. Ow! Come on. We were doing real good that first round, huh? And come on, that grab should have hit. Uh oh. Ow, should have blocked. I'm gonna hold on to my meter for the next round. Unless I get really lucky here. Get into the golden distance of the computer gets hit. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Good thing I saved my meter. Okay. Alright. This is that snipe in the end. Okay. Ah, that's not good. Okay, if we can get... Okay. Good, good for a start. The vertical is a part of it too, huh? I didn't even think about that. Because when it's down low, it's tough to get. Ah! See, I should be able to use to my advantage the fact that both her arms have a lot of startup. I mean, I could use it for this. But that's not guaranteed every time, you know? Ah! Ah! Really good at doing the combos, huh? Ah, I tried to guard in the air, but it didn't work. Darn it. Darn it. Okay, let's try this again. Hey, you know what? We take those. Was it a timer scam? Possibly. This time I might have tried it legitimately to try and do that. But it works. Hey, we're moving on to the grand finale. Well, the supposed grand finale. We gotta fight Max Brass, who I did not like to play as, but we'll see. Oh, look at his crossed arms. That must be very difficult. A ho?
There he goes. Alright, better than any Overwatch character design, it's... Dr. Coil. She's voiced by Donna Burke, aka the one who sings most of the Metal Gear vocal themes. It's the rad scientist, Dr. Coil. She's amazing. Head of Arms Labs and their top researcher, she's also a sponsor of this tournament. By entering the Grand Prix herself, she's clearly made peace with the ethical quagmire this clue presents. Anyway, take note, Max Brass, like it was nothing, proves that she's got what it takes to be the champ. It's on. The next fight is for the title. All right, so I'm going to stick with my go-to. Looks like she's going for something similar. Ah. Nunchuck be nunchuck. So she can just straight up fly, which is kind of rad. Oh, that shoots fireballs and chomps? I hate that. Wow, okay. Is she an SNK boss? I feel like she might be a bit. Just from, from what I'm feeling right here. Okay. I got her. Okay. Oh, that's a heavy one, huh? Yeah, so she can also just fly. Not only does she get a third arm, but she can just fly. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Yeah, my this one will be good because it's vertical, you know? Okay. A good version of her theme. We didn't get to see her stage though, which is interesting. Ah, nope. Okay. We just need to deal a bit more damage. Just enough to bring her under. Nope, that's not gonna happen, huh? Nope. Okay, well, we came close. We came close to time scamming her also. Alright, alright. Um, I'm gonna stick with this combo because it's a good combo for her. Oh, the fact she gets just three. She can just double up her arms is a little unfair. Okay, we got her somehow. I'll take that. Okay. Okay, nope. She'll always attack pretty much after that. Okay. Guard, 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 guard. Okay. Just back away. What what determines if she just gets free extra arms or not, I wonder? It seems like it's after a dodge. Not always, though. That would have been cool if we hit. Ah! Nope. She's gonna time me out. She's absolutely gonna time me out. Yep. Dang! You're a toughie. Yo, Don Donna Burke is also the sound of the Tokyo Metro system, which is a weird one, but she is. Um, I'm going to go with Double Fun Chuck again this time. 
See if that works a bit better. So I absolutely wasted a slot on the shield because it sucks. I hate it. So you can see her shadow still, which is at least good. I do think Dr. Coil would be an interesting character to put in. The fact that A, it's a villain, but B, it's like she has so much personality and she does have moveset potential with the headlock stuff. With, um, you know, the extra arm things. Ow. Okay, let's actually try and block those. I say let's block- Oh no! Oh, she can block that really quickly, huh? Ah. No! Okay. Nope, she is just so tough to hit. Alright. We may have to do another... <laughs> another path. This is a toughie. <gasps> it all comes down to this. Nunchuck v. Nunchuck. Yeah, that's a new technique. Super jumping. Never knew about that. Help me get up to her at least. That was a waste. That was a waste. Oh no. Okay. Ah, jeez. So fast. She must have like a meter or something, like an internal meter to determine if she can do the super arms or not. It's just like, no matter what, she dodges it. Like, even, even when I think I'm being smart and making it so that I dodge her stuff, and of course she can attack well invisible. It's not going to be too great. This 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 round is for the upload. It's it's for the understanding. See, it's like she really does go in a way that like it's it's just always out of the out of the range. So I think I think we'll 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 See how I can do this.
I think that counts. Oh my god, it does. Okay. Um, guess what ended up saving me in the end? The clapbacks. Because she takes out her forearms, and then I just clap back at her, all of them. Most of the times it doesn't work, but it did here. Wow, you are really hard. She can barely stand. Uh-oh. Oh no, are you for real? Are we getting a headlock version of her now? Okay, well that was, I guess, the... ...easier one. Oh, hooray! Oh, that's gonna, it's gonna be... It's gonna be real fun. Maybe if she's not floating around, she'll be better? I kinda doubt that. I don't know. Let's see, I got a bad feeling about this, people. I always knew the Doc's devotion arms was a little creepy, but she's totally obsessed. Her pet projects, Helix, Headlock, Spring, uh, Research for what? To become the Ultimate Arms Champion? If she has to use Headlock to do it? Good luck, Lola Pop. Laughter's the best medicine, but can it cure a lifelong thirst for power? Ladies and gents, if you're not panicking, now'd be a good time to start. Oh boy, let's see how this goes. If she's flying around, it might not be... S it, I don't know. We'll have to see how this goes. Is this just a super-powered Dr. Coil? Because if so, I might scream. Oh boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is going to be the worst, huh? Let's see here. Oh my god. Okay. I nearly jumped into that explosion. Like, the absolute perfect play. And this isn't even the highest difficulty. You know? This is not even the highest difficulty. I cannot imagine level 7. Oh yeah, this is just coil again. Oh no. And there's no time limit. So you can't, you have to do it real. All right, let's try my clap back strat. Let's see if it works on you too. Let's see if you can be clapped back. Oh geez, well he waited. Oh, is that gonna work that well? Okay, okay, we hit. Okay, so let's just see here. Okay, that will bounce them back. Even if they... Okay, they do individually less damage at least. Like, the, the other ones are doing about 40 each. These ones do about 10 each, it looks like. Well, that hit that one back. Okay, let's see. At least she doesn't have the... At least these are just punchy. They don't do the fireballs. Okay. Okay, that's not so bad. Actually, this isn't going too awfully. All things considered. He's slower. She's slower in this form, too, so... Getting them to hit back is not as hard. See, like that. It's tough to make that hit fully, though. Ow! Okay, this is still the strategy, it seems. Ah! Okay. Ah! Okay. Okay, we'll do that again. We'll- cause that- that- that was working. That was working. Okay. Thank god.
Come on. Okay, okay, okay. No! Okay, that's close. Okay. Next hit, next hit. Come on. Next hit. Yes! Oh my god. Three hours. That took three hours. Oh my god. That's the toughest thing I've done on this channel since, like, Yazora in Kingdom Hearts 3. Why was that so difficult? Dr. Coil's down again, thank god. Uh-oh. Hey, we've seen this already once. <laughs> Just take it off. Oh, rip headlock, I guess. Oh, there she goes. Here's the best part. And saying his name over and over, I love it. Express, express, that's the best. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I love that. Just him coming in. Express, it's so good. Oh man, I feel that was tough. I don't want to. Uh, yeah, two, two to one, for sure. That's what it was. It certainly wasn't much, 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 much more than that. Three hours it took me to beat him. That is a proper SNK boss. There she is. The thickest clown. She do it. So super jumping was a very good thing to do. Super jump over and use the um use use ones that kind of go everywhere. Oh boy. Give me the badge for this. Whoo! That was tough. Um I can very happily say I am excited for the next ARMS character, or for, for the ARMS character to be in Smash. Who will it be? Honestly, any of them. I think I'm happy if it'll be any of them except Helix. Um, I don't want Helix in. Uh, or Bite and Bark. But um, I do think there's a lot of uh, potential for them to be either the best or the worst. I do look forward to scumbaggery with them, with the longest range. Um, I hope they really incorporate some of the stuff with- like, I hope it's not just someone who can punch very far. I want it to be stuff with the fact that you can, like, send them out slowly, right? Slow projectiles? I still say Min Min should be the one, because she has her kicks, which can lead to a lot of fun deflecting projectiles and stuff. I do hope there's a system where, like, if you punch, you know, if you do a strong attack on the arm, it gets disabled. I don't- necessarily need them to have a ton of um different arms i think it'd be fine to just have like you know some some regular like the regular ones but it would be nice to see some representation of all of them 
Um, we'll have to see. We'll have to see, because it's, it's an interesting game to include in Smash, and I'm excited. The music will be good. I'm very excited for the music. I mean, they're all remixes of the same whoa song, but it's such a good song. Um, again, skate park or snakeboarding or whatever, that'd be a fun stage. Beyblade around. Yeah, I wouldn't even mind the, the arms labs there as a stage. That'd be interesting with the, with the, um, the test tubes and everything around. I do hope that the arms character has a command grab. Like, sort of like, uh, the closest thing that I could think of is, like, Luffy in, um, Luffy in Super Smash Flash has his, like, side B is, is, he shoots his arms out, and if he grabs you, then he does a command grab. I'd love that. I think that'd be really interesting, and that'd be the closest thing to, like, kind of almost a dedicated grappler in Smash. I mean, not dedicated, but, you know, command grabs, really. Um, okay. Well, we're gonna skip that. Um, oh, man. Look at her, she made her circus in the end. Congratulations to her. I want to scream, that was, that was a lot. Okay, what do we get? You fought in a hundred rounds. There's no way you can leave now, you're in too deep. Oh no! You fought ten rounds of Max Brass versus Springman. You've skunk, uh, skunked an opponent in hoops, couldn't you let them score just once? Thrown 5,000 punches. That shows how much I did. The floor of the mausoleum broke. Yeah, we did that. You punched with a fun chuck a thousand times. You fought 10 rounds of Lollipop versus Master Money. Uh, you fought 150 rounds. You knocked over Bark at least five times. Then the sweet life for 50 rounds is Lollipop. 500 in skill shot. 300 ba or 30 badges. You recovered over th uh, 300 HP in a round. Very nice. A hundred times the Biff, or a thousand times the Biffler, you fought it two thousand times. Clap back a thousand times. Thrown, oh my god, look at all these ones I'm getting. You can see how much it took me. You defeated Dr. Coil! There we go. That's it. I'm, I'm at a point now where I'm like, I'm gonna display that one. Alright. Yeah, get a big thousand there. I, so, did we unlock any... So we can unlock these if we want. Let's see here. Okay, so that's the ending one. Get other illustrations to unlock Dr. Coil when it finish it with her. Secret of the Masks. Oh, interesting. Secret Weapon Research. See, these are the endings here. But then you got other stuff like... Um, production Art. What is this? Arms Lab Confidential. Let's see what these some of these are. Uh, there are cases of... Arms appearing in hair. Subject is refused for examination. We've sent a few staff members. Uh, stray hairs, but we're lost. Um, hmm. How do you explain your eyes? Oh, there's like the arms lore. Let's read some of that. You know what? Let's unlock multiple. Okay, well, well we can't get them all. So how much do we have? You know, let's just get a bunch. Let's see here. Merci. Okay, at the Eiffel Tower. Arms 2007. Thank you. Thank you, it's a neat image of all the original arms fighters. We made this to thank everyone for supporting our crazy new sport. That's nice. Okay, let's see here. Arms Lab Confidential. The earliest materials have related to the arms ability date uh, 1,500 years. However, some ex experts believe it exists for like 4,000 years. The hallmark coiling like a spring phenomenon can be found not just in people, but animals and plant life. God, it's like Junji Ito. I hate it. The number of people with the arms ability is rapidly increasing. Currently, 20% of the population is affected. Considering that some are affected may not have reported to the arms leave, may be higher than that. Though once seen an oddity in this day and age, the uh, ability is considered a gift, and those who have it are extremely admired. It's like the lore is deep. Uh, the arms of those with the arms ability transform into either something deeply connected to the individual or something nearby them at the time of their awakening. At least this is the current theory. However, there's uh, some known cases that do not follow this pattern. An investigator is shadowing uh, one of the outliers reporting to follow. Uh, as previously stated, the arms ability is nothing new, but arms as a sport only dates back about 120 years. One particular attribute of the ability's nature has uh, previously prevented competition, but that all changed thanks to the special masks invented by the arms ministry, what we call the arms labs today. How is Nintendo so good at world building? Like, this in Splatoon? It, like, they're amazing. Um, 
The arms ability often emerges overnight, and with those affected discovering their transformation upon waking up, awakenings are most common during the teenage years, though in some individuals uh, has been laying dormant for as many as 74. Some are even born with the ability, though it's extremely rare. That's wild. Uh, based on our current research, only one in a hundred thousand individuals is born with the arms ability already manifest. And the current lead, Kid Cobra, is the only example of this. He never removes his mask and has never been disclosed anything about his family. He presents an extremely rare and interesting subject. Oh, interesting. What are these? Um, the issue of the arms unraveling and changing shape without regards to the uh, subject's will was solved by the mask. So, without their masks... They're, they can't control their arms, and that's creepy. As a result, formalized competitions quickly gain momentum. In the present day, these masks are provided to those with the arms ability free of charge, manufactured by Arms Labs. Okay, so Arms Labs give the masks, and if you, yeah, you need those to basically control your arms. Uh, the irises of the arms ability take on a spiral shape. Uh, this led to a hypothesis that the ability could be controlled indirectly via, via the eyes, leading to the secret development of the special masks. In order to prevent their misuse, the underlying technology is closely guarded secret, only disclosed at the discretion of Dr. C. Well, now we know who that is. So as we can see there, Mechanica does not have the spiral eyes because she, she is not an actual arms person. Uh, the arms ministry named the new sport that was created around the unique external ar arm ability simply arms. When the sport gained enough attention to sustain a professional league, the ministry changed its name and split in two organizations. So many organization and fight development became the job of the arms league, and foundation of the arms ability and development of related products became the focus of arms labs. Okay. Uh, the weapons in arms, also called arms, was ba uh, initially basic boxing type in the early days. In the modern era, however, a wide variety of different arms and characteristics uh, is available to the competitors. The contributions of private corporations has a lot to do with the increased variety, and it's uh, well known that without the technical support of the arms labs, there'd be nowhere near the amount of arms available. That's okay. So yeah, you can see there's like branding on them. I like that. Um... Recently, some fighters who do not possess the true arms ability have emerged in the professional ranks. Colloquially, these fighters are referred to as the second generation. Mechanica and the test subject Helix are among them. Their rise has had a massive impact on the sport, inspiring even more fans. So, yeah, I guess, yeah, Helix, I guess, doesn't technically have his arms. Like, he's just, it's a bit different. What's this one? We got the copper. Even among the second generation, Bark and Bike are unique. They showed up in the pre-grand pre-inspection their combined form. Having passed that, we were unable to stop them from participating even after discovering the truth that their partnership was revealed. Uh, it may uh, be some time to reevaluate how we conduct those inspections. That said, the commission is a big fan of theirs, so perhaps nothing will change. I like that. They're like, well, you're in now. Nothing we can do. Um, Dr. C refuses to fully reveal themselves to us, so we've done some research in secret. They're once in a generation genius, the youngest in history to raise up to the top of the arms labs. Unconfirmed rumors abound since possessing 52 doctorates and the uh, lack of the ability to take. Oh man. I, I love how she looks. She's actually so cool looking. I, like I said, I'd be very happy with her in. There's like a, there's like a, the, a mummy, there's a mummy up there, sarcophagus. God, the lore. Secret of the masks. Special masks used by the arm fighters allow them to maintain their arms in a coiled state. If the masks are removed, their arms become nearly impossible to control coiling and uncoiling at random. If you discover you have the arms ability, please contact the Arms uh, League Outreach Center immediately. Wow, how would you dial with the phone with your arms going nuts? Secret weapon research. Uh, project Wearable Weapon. Oh, interesting. It was originally one that was worn on the chest. Intended for a sparring uh, partner for fighters has been initiated. In essence, we created the ultimate sandbag. Dr. C is the project lead. It's the first time I've been working with them, so I'm quite excited. Will the average fighter be able to control so many arms at once? It's our initial challenge. Interesting they put it on the... On the body. Um, we're no closer to overcoming our initial challenge. A method of forcibly boosting brain power was supposed, but Dr. C dismissed it. We begun t tests based on the idea of the thought kite bales of the device. We've also modified the device from being worn on the torso to being placed on the head. The doctor responded to our communications promptly, but refused to appear before us. It's a bit unnerving. Oh, so it boosts the brain. Look at that Junji Ito on the left there. That is straight Junji Ito. Whoops. Uh, last one then. 
The prototype has escaped. Now able to think, Headlock has disappeared as is in search of something is an emergency. However, the doctor's interests have moved elsewhere. We've been instructed to create a version that can be more easily equipped and unequipped. We will leave the escaped Headlock for the fighters to deal with. In the end, I suppose the left become a sparring partner for them. Okay, so it just leaves. These are all their endings. Look at that young Dr. Coyle there. She's adorable. We got all this extra art. Some cute ones. Like, look. Look how cute this are. Look. Oh, look at her. She's reading a book. She's adorable. Let's look at Min Min. Kids love her. Look at her! Like, this art, I love it so much. Min Min is super popular with the kids, which is no surprise, given that noodles and dragons are what as cool as it gets. Like, she's actually... I love her design. Like, her non-fighter design with her arms wrapped like that is so good. You know? I mean, then this one is... This is just... Th thirst... Oh my god. It's important for arms to fight to stay hydrated, especially after an intense workout. He looks may have overdone it. Like, look at that thickness. Miss Fix It. Mechanica is a brilliant engineer as a fighter. The Arms League often hires her to help with advanced repairs. God, I wish the comic for this came out. Right? We got a Halloween one. Trick or treat. Check out Min Min and Master Mummy all dressed up. I guess Master Mummy is always ready. Look how cute she is. You can tell she's a favorite. Like, look. Fashion forward. Oh, we don't have enough? Darn it, we can't see that. But you can tell Min Min's a big favorite. Like, absolutely. I love all this art. Okay, well... We did it. Did we get... Hey. Look at that. We get more badges for it. So let's... let's. Oh, wait. What? Oh, we got one for getting more? Weird. Uh, I want to see that one with the fashion forward. Look at them! They're so cool! Like, I love this art. The art, the art style is so great. I would say that it's not anime, though. I would honestly say this is, like, French style, you know? Like, it looks like French art, which I love. You know, here's, here's a cute one of Ribbon Girl's Ribbon Collection. Like, ah, it's adorable, right? I love it. I love this art. I'm happy this is in. Well, thank you guys for watching. We finally did it. This is going to be a pain to edit, but yo, we do it. See you all when the arms fighter comes to smash. Ciao.